Hello everyone, thank you for watching. This is going to be a tutorial on how to add a watermark to your video using Shotcut. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and hit that bell notification button below to see our next videos first. I'm using Shotcut version 191231. If you don't have the latest version, I recommend pausing this video and going to download it, and I will leave a link in the description below. So let's go ahead and get started. I always like to open up the playlist first so I can drag in all the items that I'll need for the video editing. I'm going to use a video that I uploaded to another channel and the Shotcut logo as an example. Now right click down here and add two new video tracks. Drag the main video to the bottom track. And I'm going to shorten up this video for this example so that exporting won't take so long and also save me some space. But this will work with any link video that you want. Now drag the logo to the top track so you'll always be able to see it. Now you want to extend the watermark to be the same length as the video so it's always visible. Now you can see the photo is overlaying the video, but we just want a watermark, so we need to adjust the opacity. Make sure that the top track with the logo is selected, and go to filters at the top, hit the plus sign down here, and type in opacity, and it's selected. Now you can adjust the opacity to your liking. The lower the number, the less visible the overlay is. You have to be careful when taking just a photo and adjusting the opacity to make a watermark because as you can see in this one, it distorts the color of the video where all the blue in the logo is. So if you want to change that or you want to get rid of that blue, this is how you adjust it to make it work a little bit better. The photo editor I use is paint.net and I will put a link in the description below if you guys don't have that. But you should be able to do these simple effects with a paint app that comes with most computers. So I'm going to right click on the logo and open this up using paint.net. For this logo, I think it'll be best to make the letters the same color as the top and bottom border, which is black. So I'm going to click over here on tools and then the paint bucket and color all these letters black. Next, I want to turn all this blue transparent because that's what's giving the video the distorted look behind the watermark. So under tools again, click on this magic wand feature and select somewhere in the blue. And it selects all the continuous blue in the logo. Now hit delete on your keyboard. And this checkered gray and white represents transparent, meaning you can see through it. Do the same with the O and shotcut since it didn't get selected and hit delete on your keyboard again. Now go to file and save the photo as. But make sure you save it as a PNG so the transparency of the photo is kept. And then click OK on the save configuration that pops up. Head back over to Shotcut and drag in the new logo to the playlist. I'm going to go ahead and remove the old logo that we're not going to use anymore. Also on the timeline, select a track with the unedited logo and hit the lead on your keyboard. Drag the new logo from the playlist back down to the timeline. And again, expand it to match the length of the video like we did in the other one. Now you can see that everything is transparent except for the top and bottom borders and the letters themselves. Again, making sure that the logo track is selected only. Go back to filters and add the same opacity filter as you did before. And adjust to your liking. You don't want the watermark to be too dark to where it's annoying but you don't want it too light so you can't distinguish what the watermark is. And as a bonus, one more thing that a lot of people add to the watermark is a tilt. And if you'd like to add this, just go to the filter once again and search for rotate and scale. You can mess with all these settings that you like, make the watermark bigger, smaller, rotate any direction. But I found that a negative 30 rotation usually lines up the bottom left and the top right corners pretty well. And I'll export it and let you guys see what it looks like now. Here is the exported video and I'll play a short clip of it. 
as you can see, the watermark is there and it's not too invasive. And everybody, that's all there is to it. If this video helped you guys out at all, please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below on what video tutorial you'd like to see next. Thank you, everybody. Take care.